My name is Jen Budney, and I am an associate curator at the Mendel Art Gallery. I'm also the curator of the exhibition Ruth Cuthand Backtalk, which is a comprehensive mid-career retrospective of Ruth Cuthand's work from 1983 to 2009. Ruth is, in my opinion, one of Saskatchewan's most significant contemporary artists. For more than 30 years, she has been challenging mainstream perspectives on colonialism and the relationships between so-called settlers and natives in a practice characterized by political invective, humor, and a deliberate rawness of style. I've learned over the years that like, uh, nobody likes an angry Indian. As soon as an Indian gets angry, everybody's like, boop, their little ears shut, and they're like, oh, here we go again. So I like to use uh, humor, because I think humor, um, it makes people laugh, and then you, you get a little relaxed, and it, you know, something's amusing, and then you sort of open up, and then the harder stuff can come, come in without you sort of feeling attacked. Although I know the misuse is abuse, people are feeling attacked by it, but they felt attacked by it 20 years ago, so mm -hmm. that's really interesting. It's like 20 years, it's still making people mad. <laughs> this rawness in Ruth's style really suits the way that she considers politics. In many respects, it is designed to counter the stereotype of Canada as the great polite nation. She typically stencils text on her images, and um, it's a real hallmark of her work. This parodies the notions of Indians as unlearned and speaks very simply and humorously to non-Aboriginal audiences who otherwise may not get it. Ruth Cuthand's father was an Anglican minister, and when she was a small child in the late 1950s, her family moved to Cardston, Alberta, where her father worked as a minister on the blood reserve. Cardston is home to Canada's first temple of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, which serves the large Mormon community that founded the town in 1887. I think I was, I think I was at like in my sort of late 40s, and I started to have uh, flashbacks to when I was a young, a young girl and living in Cardston, Alberta, and the sort of uh, the racism that I faced growing up in that community and it really caught me off guard because I kind of thought that I'd worked through that and it was behind me and it wasn't. It was, suddenly it was right in my face and I really needed to somehow figure out what to do about it. The six paintings in Ruth's Carson Alberta series explore problematic Mormon notions of Native Americans as found in the first Book of Mormon, uh, which is the Mormon Bible. Excerpts of the text are taken directly from the Book of Mormon, and they're superimposed over images of an idealized 1950s white North American family with the temple looming in the background. I wanted to represent the sort of 50s, 60s family, the white sunshiny family and I found a, a reader at a uh, grad sale and found some great images uh, and I sort of projected those onto the canvas and drew them and then had the I had the little color photocopy and then I would try and copy which is kind of interesting I wanted to do something with their skin so um, to sort of change them from sort of like, you know, little pink cheeks and stuff. So uh, first I was going to do sort of like white and green, sort of like, and it, it, that didn't work. It was horrible. And then I was just like trying to figure out, okay, what can I use for their skin? And uh, I cut my finger and I went and got a flesh-colored bandage. There you go. <laughs> I used the, the flesh color from the band-aid on the skin of the Mormons. <laughs> um. In my opinion, Ruth Cuthand's career was largely overlooked by mainstream art institutions, particularly outside of Saskatchewan, because the questions she's asking with her work are difficult, and they were too difficult for many institutions uh, 20 years ago, even 10 years ago. But 
Uh, Ruth has always enjoyed a very large following amongst other artists and particularly younger generations. In 2009, the assistant curator at the Mackenzie Art Gallery in Regina, Michelle Lavallee, nominated Ruth Cuthan's trading series for the York Wilson Award, which is given to one institution every year to purchase a large body of work. And since that time, Ruth won the award, there's been a new interest in Ruth's career across the country. Ruth Cuthan Back Talk, the exhibition, will be touring Canada in 2012, 13, and 14. Already we have nine institutions who are interested in taking the exhibition. It will open on the tour at Mount St. Vincent University Art Gallery in January 2012, and hopefully audiences across the country will get to see it for the next three years.